Hello everyone and welcome to MathX. We're going to solve this equation together in this video. Uh, we know that X and Y are actually integers. So a uh, guess work would work, right? You could just guess the values of X and Y. But if you actually want to solve it, uh, well, in this video, you're gonna get that. So uh, how do we deal with such equations? Uh, if we write, the equation as a product of two things equals a number like it could be six or any other number then we could we have solved the equation right that's the whole purpose of uh, that's exactly what we're trying to do now okay so uh, to do that let's just go and uh, factorize x okay it will be one plus three y, okay, plus y equals six, okay? So it's going to be, see, it's a good thing, x multiplied by this, but this y is extra, okay? But what if I create one of these right over here? Then I could factorize it. How? Let's do it. So let's multiply everything, every term by a three, okay? So we'll have three x, one plus three y, okay? Plus three y equals 18, is that right? Okay, good. Now, you see it's almost there. What if I add a plus one to both sides of the equation? Then we'll have three X, okay, one plus three Y, everything will be the same. And the good thing will happen shortly. Three Y plus one equals 19, okay? So that's the beauty of it. You see, these two are repeating and we could factorize this. Let's go and factorize just that, okay? So if I factorize one plus three y, well, this term has three x, so I'll write it. Okay, plus, well, it's itself, so I have to write one, equals 19. Okay, we're a little lucky because 19 is a prime number. It wouldn't be a problem if it wasn't the prime number, but well, we're going to get to our answers faster because 19 is a product of one and 19 only. So let's assume this is one, this is 19. Then we'll have 3x plus 1 equals 1. So x will be, I'm going to write it here, x will be 0. And uh, if I write 1 plus 3y equals 19, y will be 6. Okay? So y will be six. Okay, so there was also the other way around. Okay, this one being 19, the other one being one. Well, the answers would be the same. X and Y will be different. So I'm gonna write it here. Y will be zero and X will be six, okay. There you go, we found the solutions, we just didn't guess them, okay? So that's good for today, that's enough. If you like the video, well, like it. And of course, uh, if you wanna see more questions like this, please subscribe to the channel.